Hey guys, it's Danny the Medic. Welcome to the channel. Now today, I'm over here at the Martha Stewart Farmhouse Restaurant. That's right. And the reason I'm here is because about the... Oh, hi. We got a viewer. We got a viewer. Hey. Hi. Hi. I was like, I hope that's not security from the corner of my eyes. Like, you can't film in here. Hi. hi. So how are you doing? I'm Oh, terrific. My husband's watching the hockey game, so I'm going back to the room. Oh, yeah, I don't like sports either. <laughs> sports, guys, sports. <laughs> All right, enough about the sports. So, back to the farmhouse. About uh, a few months ago, I was playing some high limit blackjack over at the horseshoe, right? There was a lady sitting there, and she, you know, we started talking. I told her I make food videos and such, and she said, Have you been to the Bedford? I said, no, is it good? She said, it's wonderful. And I said, well, how much is it? She said, it's very expensive, upon which I'm like, oh God, no. Well, at least you can eat the free bread. And she says, no, 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 no. They charge you for the bread. I'm like, what restaurant charges you for the bread? That's nuts, right? Then she said, it's really good bread though. And, and ever since that conversation, I've been thinking about the bread that they sell to you over here at the Martha Stewart farmhouse. So, today's the day. Let's go check out the bread. All right, so I'm waiting for a table and I have to tell you guys, this does not look much like a farmhouse. It looks too nice, you know? Farmhouse my butt. Yeah, this is too nice for a farmhouse. Even the pots and pans hanging up is like so clean. Look at this really clean copper pots and pans and stuff. And of course, look at the table setting. What kind of farmers eat like this? Wines, beers, oh, are you going to take away the drink menu? Can I grab you some water? Uh, yeah, just tap water. Sure. Okay, thanks. All right, guys, we are seated. Now, I did ask for some tap water. I just hope they're not going to charge me for it. I, I neglected to ask them if they did or did not, but that's fine. So over here is very fancy. You got a couple of three forks, two spoons and two knives, guys. I won't be needing any of that. You know the reason why I'm here. I don't need to see the menu. Okay, the bread basket is $19.95, guys. $20 bread. Over at Target, I can get 17 loaves of bread. We'll see how good this is, guys. I don't need the wine cup. I don't need these appetizer stuff. Don't need the salad fork. Don't need the dinner fork. Don't need a soup spoon, dinner knife. Nobody uses salt and pepper with the bread. Napkin stays on the table as often as I can, guys. Tap water. No questions. Yeah, okay, sure. So, the reason I'm here is to take a look at your bread basket. It's $19.95, right? Yeah. yeah, that's all I'm having. Just a bread basket? Yes. Sure, I'll get that out for you. Thank you. Just the bread basket. So I did retain the butter knife and the bread plate. We'll see what this $20 bread basket looks like. You know, looking at this place right here, being so, so beautiful and fancy, I'm thinking it's going to be a very small bread basket. Maybe only three pieces of bread. Who knows these things? Even the staff's uniforms are all 
free of stains and nicely pressed. That costs money, you know, to maintain. Maybe that's why they charge you for the bread basket. Is it worth it to you? Now, put it in the comments below. Would you rather have tattered looking staff and the bread be free? Or you rather pay $19.95 for the bread and have pristine looking staff? Put in the comments below. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, guys. The 1995 bread basket has arrived. Let's take a closer look. That is nuts, guys. All right. So, I guess what I'll do is tell you if there's anything underneath. I'll unfold the napkin and use that to kind of be a place to put the bread. We have this thing here. Interesting. We have this thing here that's chock full of fruit. Amazing guys, amazing. It's kind of syrupy. It's got stickiness to it. All right, part two of that one. What on earth is this? It's like a skateboard with things on it. Nothing on the other side. All right, guys, I'm going to tell you, they take a lot of care in preparing these things. The placement of the toppings is almost identical. That's where your money goes. All right, so first, we're going to start with this thing here. Cut myself a piece. I guess I'll be using this after all. It cuts pretty easy, guys. Get some of this butter. Oh wow, guys. It comes with a butter cover. It's like room service for like uh, cats, you know, like some cats pushing it into the hotel room and say, here you go. All right, anyway. Bread number one. This is pretty darn good. It's quite dense for bread, but wow, so flavorful. I see, I think they have kosher salt right on top of it to give it a nice saltiness.
So, whatever this is called, nine for this piece of bread. Not bad at all, guys. So now we got this thing that's a uh, chock full of fruit. It is like a three-dimensional pizza. Cheers, guys. It is excellent. So much fruit flavor. And I'm thinking this may be rosemary or something. They, they put a lot of stuff in here. This is a bit rich. It can also be a breakfast pastry. Have it with a nice cup of coffee, you know? I'm gonna take this to go if they allow me and go get myself a cup of coffee over at the casino mm. Mm. Thank you. all right so now we're gonna move on to the skateboard It's quite stiff, guys. So, let's give it a try. Pretty darn good guys. Now, the parts with the stuff is not as good as the part without the stuff. Without the stuff, it's like bread is crispy, it's salty. Mmm. Very nice. Reminds me of Melba toast. But with the stuff, it's not as crispy. You see? It bends. All right. So, nine for the part without the stuff, and a seven point five for the part with the stuff. Now let's put a little butter on it. Still a nine, guys. All right, so now what I would recommend that if you do come here for whatever reason and there's four of you, do not forget to get this bread if there's four of you because you know either half a piece of the skateboard, one quarter of this bread thing, you know, 
which is nice. It's already nicely like pre uh, pre marked for you to cut it into uh, four servings of this, and then each one get a quarter of one of these. It's actually very nice, very delicious, and because there's four of you, it only costs you like five bucks a person. All right, so there we have it, guys. The bread that they charge you for over here at the Martha Stewart Farmhouse. New Vegas video every Friday.